Welcome to the iPod Touch 3rd Generation Take Apart Guide. There are no differences in appearance between the 2nd and 3rd Generation iPod Touch. The only difference is the internal hardware, and the model number is A1318. To begin, take your putty knife and gently slide it in between the back case and the rubber bezel. There will be four clips located on each side of the iPod. You will have to use the putty knife to gently release these clips so that you can open up the iPod. There's also going to be one clip at the top and the middle, and then at the bottom on each side of the dock connector. Once all these clips have been released, then you can open up the iPod. Make sure that when you open the iPod, you open it from the right side first and then to the left. Then use a small flat tool to disconnect the digitizer cable. Then get your Phillips screwdriver and remove the Phillips screw at the top left hand side of the LCD. Now use a small flat tool to lift up on the lower part of the LCD. Then use a putty knife to lift up the rest of the LCD. Now use a small flat tool to lift up on the copper tape that is located at the top right hand side of the LCD. Now you can flip back the LCD, which will reveal seven Phillips screws that have to be removed. Once those are removed, take your small flat tool and pry up on the metal bracket. Once the metal bracket is loosened, then you can take your small flat tool and lift up on the ribbon cable located at the bottom towards the dock connector. When you begin to remove the bracket, you will notice that the battery is located on the back of the bracket. You will also find that the battery cable is soldered onto the logic board. Now you will have to remove the yellow tape that is located on top of the LCD cable. Once that is removed, the LCD then can be removed. Next, you will need to go ahead and remove the rest of the yellow tape. Now there will be two Phillips screws that will have to be removed at the top of the logic board. The left Phillips screw is covered by a gray piece of rubber that will have to be removed. Next, you will want to very gently separate the ribbon cable located here from the back case. Next, you will want to separate the antenna ribbon cable here from the back case. Then you will need to very gently lift up on the logic board to lift the top section out.
Now there will be four Phillips screws located on the bottom section of the logic board that will have to be removed. Two of the screws are located on the headphone board and the other two are on each side of the dock connector. Once those screws are removed, gently lift up on the logic board to remove it. Next there will be two Phillips screws located on each side of the power button and two Phillips screws located on each side of the volume button. Once those are removed, then the cable can be taken out. Then to remove the antenna cover, all you have to do is apply a little pressure to the back and then lift up and out. 